Muslims need to go into media. We need to go into other fields. MashaAllah, we are filled with doctors and lawyers and engineers, and you guys are great. But th there was this mentality when, you know, the first generation, our parents first came here, was like, we need to find the highest paying job so we can sustain the community, right? I go online and I want to find a Muslim doctor, I have so many to pick from. So many. I, I need a lawyer, plenty of Muslim lawyers out there. Engineers, you guys got it. 20 cardiologists, MashaAllah. I try to find one other Muslim journalist in another company to be like, hey, we need to team up and do something, and there aren't any. So we need to be encouraging each other, encouraging our kids to find out these fields that we don't normally go into. And if, if writing isn't for you, if media isn't for you, that's fine, but it, it's not just becoming a doctor or an engineer or staying into the STEM field. It's not. If, if we look into the history of Islam, the greatest writers and authors, we have examples to follow. So we need more Muslims to go into the liberal arts field. We're covered. I feel like there's this, this fear that the Muslim community isn't wealthy enough or isn't rich enough, and, and this is why we need to go into these high-paying jobs. And that's not the case. MashaAllah, we were able to rent out this huge convention center. I don't think we have a problem. I think we're doing okay. But if we're going to sit here and complain about our coverage, like Linda was saying, that people cover us poorly and, and why aren't we getting more positive coverage about the Muslims, then study it. Go into it. Intern at your local paper. And I know it's not easy. I love my parents to death, but I'm, I'll be honest, they weren't thrilled when they knew I was going into media. They were not. For the longest time, even in school. You know you could still go to med school, right? It's never too late. And, and, and now they're just kind of like, oh, I guess this wasn't such a bad idea after all. You're, you're okay. We have three more other kids. Maybe one of them will become a doctor. <laughs> they still have hope. And so encourage your friends. En encourage, even when I go to local schools and local Islamic schools and I talk to students, one of the very first questions they ask me is, so how much do you get paid? And it's that mentality that comes from our parents, and I know it's well-intentioned, but we need to move beyond that. We are a large community. We can go into many, many, many things. So if your daughter or your son or your sibling wants to go into writing, wants to go into art, wants to go into something that may not bring in six figures, do not discourage them. Because if you discourage them, then you do not have the right to complain that why, aren't, why don't we have more Muslims in media? That's just the fact of the matter. And um, as a student that works in the media, I just want to go back to both of their points. Like, I, I'm a news editor at a college newspaper, and every time something happens in the Muslim community or the Muslim community, like, is attacked or something, we ask our MSA, we ask all the Muslim students on campus to write opinion letters. Not a single person responds to us. And we'll get, like, all these letters uh, for the Muslim community from everybody else except the Muslim community. So, like, I urge you, you guys are all college students. Like, there's so many college students here. Like, talk, go work for your school, college newspaper. Talk, like, talk to the reporters there. They want to cover the Muslim community on campus, but, like, nobody responds to when we reach out to you guys. So, like, back, going back to that, if you guys want representation, if we want representation in the media, we have to kind of show up too.